Happy New Year, everyone! What better way to start the new year than with some more of Season 6 of Naruto Shippuden, right? Now, in my previous video that I uploaded, a lot of people were kind of freaking out about the schedule, that I hadn't done it right, that I was missing the really good episodes for the watchings, and blah blah blah. And I was trying to redo the schedule and retweak it, make it make sense. But it always came down to me watching like eight episodes and then reviewing like three episodes. <laughs> so it just it just didn't make any sense. So I've totally revised the entire Naruto season six to ship it out of the schedule. And I've just turned the entire thing into watchings. It's just gonna be um quadruple features all the way, which I'm a little bit nervous about because I did the one quadruple feature once. And um, it worked out okay, but I, I don't know how it's going to be um, for all these episodes. So um, <clears throat> I'm going to try doing that. And if it's too much work, then I'll just cut, I'll redo the schedule again and make it all just triple features. Um, so when, when we're halfway through, after I've done three quadruple features, I'll do a review of those watchings. And then I'll move on and do the... It'll make sense when you look at it in the description. <laughs> so now let's watch 121, 122, 123, and 124. I forget what was happening last time. <laughs> We've got Hisame and Itachi, and they've captured this dude. Oh, the dude is the uh, Four Tails, the Ombi. According to um, Hisame, if they seal the uh, Jinchuria of Order, as in like Naruto has to be last, then the like statue where they're sealing all of the Biju is going to uh, crumble. Therefore, Itachi, who is the one I believe who's charged with capturing Naruto, has decided, like, well, we should just go after Naruto last. It doesn't make sense to go after him now. And then the Akatsuki all have a meeting, and they're like, P.S. Orochimaru is dead. I think they just implied that Hidon and Kakuzu were still alive. I'm not sure about that, or if it was just, like, spiritually they're still alive. <laughs> Toby's totally joined the group now, and no one's happy about it because everyone hates Toby. Once they find out that it was Sasuke who killed Orochimaru, everyone's like, that makes sense. <laughs> they know that Sasuke's next target is obviously Itachi, and they know that uh, Suigetsu is after Kisame, so they're like, yeah, it's, it's pretty likely that they're gonna go after you guys as a pair. Meanwhile, back in Konoha, everyone's trying to figure out, like, what are we gonna do in order to get ahead of the Akatsuki? They also conclude that Sasuke is obviously gonna be after Itachi, and so they have to figure out where Itachi's next move is in order to figure out Sasuke's. Sasuke and the gang are looking for something. We're, we're not really sure what they're doing at this point. Sasuke's just leading the way and everyone's following him. Aw, kitty cats! They bring Sasuke and the rest of his friends to um, this old lady who specializes in well, cats, first of all, but also weapons and medicine. There's so much content in this episode. Like, I'm not used to this. Like, usually some of it's very skippable. <laughs> but it's been, like, start to finish, like, straight-up content. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a weird compliment to give a show, but for a show like Naruto, it's, like, it, it's rare. So Daydara <clears throat> wants to go after Naruto's group and Kakashi and Sasuke as well to get back at them for all the stuff that they took away from him. They punched him in the face, they chopped his arms off, and he wanted to be the one who killed Orochimaru. The Konoha group is heading out and they've recruited the Shino Hinata Kiba team. Long time no see with those guys. I, I don't think we've, I mean we've seen them like just hang out but we haven't seen them like on a mission. I think they're the only team that hasn't been on a mission yet. Yeah, I'm excited. I mean, the only team out of the original like kids who took the Chunin exam together. Yay! Still have three more episodes to go. I don't know if I can handle this. <laughs> so the plan is to hop along until they find a landmark. And then they use that landmark to go search in every direction for five kilometers and then if they don't find anything, or I guess if they do find anything, they come back and they get back together. They figure it out. So they're splitting up. So Naruto, Hinata, the giant dog, and Yamato are part of a team. And um, Kiba's like, I'm my own team. I have my own dog. <laughs> and then they, everyone else gets like a couple of dogs to go off alone, I guess. <laughs> I guess I didn't pick up on this, but Deidara and Toby are a pair now because Daydara's partner died and Toby's new. So, 
so um, they're they're going off to do whatever Daidara feels like it because he's senpai. <laughs> Sasuke's group has split up to find information on the um, Akatsuki, and Kakuzu, not Kakuzu, Sugetsu has found in, uh, information on Kakuzu's bookie. And um, what's his face? Uh, Jugo is uh, like frolicking in the forest with some birds. <laughs> That's not true. Sakura and Karin actually walk past each other in a village without knowing who the other is. They're playing me right now, acting like uh, they're having like simultaneous encounters occur at the same time, and they're they're trying to make you guess who's encountering who at the moment. So Kabuto has encountered Imato, Naruto, and Hinata, and I guess that means that Deidara and Toby have found Sasuke. Buto is giving Naruto and the gang information about the Akatsuki, just like as a present. Kabuto's going off about how like he doesn't really know who he is or or what he's gonna do with his life now that Orochimaru is gone because you know he didn't really ever have an identity or an alliance or anything. So he's like, okay, I'm just a little bit lost, but thanks to Naruto, I feel like I know which way I'm going. Oh. Okay. Um, Kabuto has done something to his face. Or his body or something. So he's like part Nart. Not Naruto, part Orochimaru. I guess he took part of Orochimaru's corpse and put it in his own body. Oh, Kabuto, that's weird. <laughs> you shouldn't do that. Naruto's solution to this problem is to fight it. Well, they all start fighting him. They want to capture him, obviously. Kabuto's all like, First I'm gonna kill Sasuke, and then I'm gonna fight you! See ya! <laughs> this is pointless! <laughs> Bye! And that episode ends with the promise that Deidara and Sasuke are gonna go at it next. So the fight begins, and Deidara whips out his clay techniques, because he's got both of his arms back, if you remember. And Toby is just, like, getting in the way! He's, like, the worst! <laughs> He's annoying and stupid, and he's bad at this. <laughs> Why did he get to join their group? And just so you know, there's a, a plow outside, so uh, that that's what will be serenading us for the rest of this episode, perhaps. We're definitely get to, getting to see a more uh, diverse range of Daydara's attacks. What is he able to do beyond create clay that just explodes? Now we can see this. <laughs> In the end, they all just explode but they can do various things. Are we finally gonna get to see Toby actually do something productive? <laughs> Sasuke goes curse seal um, in order to fight against Daidara because he his explosions are getting kind of tricky. And I guess this whole time Toby's been burrowing around in the ground um, planting mines. <laughs> so it's, it's not even really Toby doing something unless it's like he can do ground manipulation or element manipulation or whatever. Sasuke's feet have been injured and then Daidara manages to blast off one of his wings. But then Sasuke manages to jump up, land on his sword which he threw into the ground, and jump up into the air and slice off one of the wings on Daidara's flying dragon. Oh! <laughs> And then he got impaled with giant ninja stars, <laughs> pinning his arms to his side. He's gonna fall down all the mines Toby just planted. <laughs> oh no, Daytara, this is all your fault. <laughs> you have no one to blame but yourself. Oh, okay, Daydara did manage to escape. You know, for some reason I find myself really liking Daydara, and I don't want him to die. He keeps, like, defying the odds, and it's kind of cracking me up. <laughs> oh no, Daydara's getting a flash ma back, that means he's totally gonna die. So sorry, Kisame and Itachi come to Daydara when he's just, like, a terrorist and likes to create explosions and stuff, and they're like, you should join us. And of course, you know, Daydara chooses to attack Itachi, and, um... That's when Itachi's like, nope. <laughs> Turns out, it's actually you who is being attacked by me. So that's when um, Didara became kind of like amazed by Itachi and is like, wow, Itachi is the real art. And so now he's starting to see like the same eyes 
in Sasuke and it's freaking him out because he's like, oh my god, maybe his art is better than mine! Now Dadar is using his most powerful explosive ever! <laughs> he originally thought of this plan to defeat Itachi, but now he's like, all right, I'll, I'll defeat um, Sasuke first. <laughs> oh, he just like created a giant explosive Daidara. <laughs> okay. <laughs> One more episode. Oh, this is so many episodes. I don't know if I can do this. Hang on a tick. The giant Daidara just like was a balloon. Wait a second. What's... Is it Genjutsu? Is that what it is? Ah. Okay, so the giant Daidara exploded and it leaves tiny, tiny invisible bombs inside of your body and it destroys your cells on the... Uh, cellular level. <laughs> so we are led to believe that um, Sasuke is dead. But that illusion didn't last for very long because Sasuke is back with a Chidori through Daidara's chest. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> okay, so Sasuke dying was Sasuke's Genjutsu and he's like, ha ha ha, I saw through your trick the entire time with my Sharingan. Oh my god! But the Daidara who was standing right there wasn't even the real Daidara. Not really through the chest with a Chidori. <laughs> the real Daidara is down here. <sighs> and he's like, I saw this coming because you're Itachi's younger brother and you, you're all the same. Oh snap. And then we see basically the entire Daidara flashback again. So now Sasuke is trapped inside another giant explosive Daidara. <laughs> <laughs> this commentary sounds so insane. He falls out of the sky and lands on the ground with one last God, it's trying to make it blow up. We don't know if he's successful or not. He probably wasn't, because it wouldn't make sense for Sasuke to die at this point. But, you know. We're led to believe Sasuke is dead once again. Sure enough, Sasuke's not dead, and he punts Daidara across the ground. Turns out, Daidara's attacks were all Earth Element, whereas, you know, Sasuke's attacks are obviously Lightning Element. So did he electrocute himself? Oh yeah. So he, like, destroyed the little bombs inside of him. Alright. Alright! Now Sasuke's revealing that he knew from the very beginning that he could just Chidori all of the bombs that would neutralize them. I forgot that my camera needs some time to um, recharge its battery, so uh, anyway, what you missed is that Sasuke, I mean, Dinara is asking, um, how did you do that? How did you know that? And Sasuke like, well, I did this. And Dinara's like, well, okay, that, that makes sense, but how did you do this? And Sasuke's like, well, I, I did this. And then they're just like going back and forth, basically recapping the entire fight from start to finish. <laughs> so after the whole recap, Daidara is very, very weak. He can barely stand up. He can't even stand up. So Sasuke just walks up to him and is like, where is Itachi? But Sasuke's also pretty weak right now. Both of them are having a rough time. But Sasuke's still got this cool look on his face, and Daidara is like so angry. He's like, oh, you're just like Itachi. The bully you just stand there looking so cool all the time. Ah! <laughs> And Sasuke's basically like, oh, shut up, just tell me where your touch is. <laughs> so now Daidara is revealing he's got something funky on his chest all sewn up. Looks like probably a self-destruct sequence. He's finally had it. We've already seen Daidara fake us out with a self-destruct sequence. Oh, it's a mouth. Oh, it's a mouth on his chest. Ew. <laughs> it is a mouth, yes, but it's also a self-destruct sequence. Again. And he's like, yep. Once I die, I'll become the ultimate piece of art. And then basically, Mushroom Cloud. That is the end of episode 124, the end of the quadruple feature. Wow. Okay. Hmm. Ah. <laughs> I guess I'll see you guys next time for episodes 125, 126, 127, and 128. Bye.